Thank you, Dad, Mom, and all my dear friends and family. During the time with my stomach cancer. Chris, honey, see you in our next life. Chris, take care of yourself. Let me help you rest. I hope everyone who loves me and those I love can live well and live brilliantly. And honey, please take care of Ruby. Chris, you're awesome. You got Susan here for a gastric surgery. Of course. I got her a seven million insurance. She has to die for us to be free. Let's do it. Chris! You adulterous bastards, you've killed me, I won't let you go. I'm still alive. I've been reborn. Three months ago, I dressed the wedding gown for you. Chris, Ruby, I'll make your wish come true. Welcome to the wedding of the groom Chris Walker and the bride Susan Carter. Next, please welcome the bride's radiant entrance. Bride, where's the bride? She's such an ill-bred, despicable woman, even late for her own wedding. She should have died with her short-lived mom. This rebellious girl, the Carter and the Walker are friends. This marriage, she was the eager one to marry Chris. She dares to be late for wedding. If she marries to Chris, she'd be impossible to handle. Mr. Carter, I want an explanation for this matter. Calm down, Mr. Walker. Susan always disregards the bigger picture. Look how anxious Chris is. He is sweating profusely. Chris, don't worry. Did you hide that bitch's medical report? Don't worry. She'll only find out her cancer after the wedding. I've also hide the insurance well. Just let her die after the wedding. Where is the bride? Where is she? I'm here. You bitch, my son is still alive. Why are you holding his portrait? For what? Of course, for his funeral. You jinx, you dare to dress like that. Don't like it, then drop dead. You crazy woman, how dare you curse my son? If you're not happy, go die then. Such a misfortune in our Carter family. How did we get a jinx like you? If you can't stand it, then go die. Susan, how could you commit such a crazy act? If you can't figure it out, just go die. Susan, it's our wedding. We can talk about it after the wedding. Wedding? You can get compensation after the wedding, huh? Everybody, I, Susan Carter, am going to bury this jerk. Oh my, look, is it the groom and the bride's sister? They're shameless. Everybody, welcome to my sister Ruby and my husband Chris's wedding. As her elder sister, I'll start with my best wishes.
Wish you happy. Happy new. Happy Mar. Wishing you a child. Ty the. May you always live in wedded. Isn't there a character missing? There is not a single character missing from my wishes. Isn't that? No fortune, no joy, no fate, no children, no heart, and no love. What a truly vicious blessing. That's what I want. There are a lot of photos. They are all over the internet. Now, you can only marry Chris. Susan, you bitch. Ruby, let me tell you. Your mom got close to my dad and drove my mom died. When your mom married my dad, I was just five years old. Your mom is the bitch you called. Susan, your mom couldn't keep a man's. Susan! Ruby, happy wedding. Congratulations. Susan, back to work as soon as it's over. Ted Black, I almost forgot I served you tirelessly. My stomach cancer can't be separated from you. The new partner is Waylong Express. Your wedding should end at 3. It's 2 minutes past 3. You're 2 minutes late. Too much fun, so I ended up being late. Docking you $30. I've already partnered with Waylong Express. The courier's tape will have information about my lifesaver, helping me find her. You, coordinate these details with the courier. What are you waiting for? There you go again, with that outdated line. Listen up, Susan. From the moment you became my assistant, every word I say, you need to remember. Every task I assign, you need to complete. If you can't, then get out. Ted, listen up. With just this incomplete portrait, you'll never find your lifesaver. Please stop reciting these tyrannical lines every day. It's really idiotic. Susan Carter, Ted Black, you're fired. You always acting high and mighty like you are my master treating me like a slave. Let me tell you, you're just a relic from the grave, a remnant of feudalism. What did you call me? A remnant of feudalism? What about it? Don't agree? If you don't agree, go to hell. Susan Carter. It's not over yet. Mr. Black has always avoided women. Susan is his only female assistant. How did it end up like this? No idea. Guys, he has steered clear of women. Because he was impotent. What? Mr. Black is impotent? Susan is so easygoing. She must have been driven mad by Mr. Black. No wonder. He's difficult to deal with. Susan, tomorrow's class reunion. You'd come with me no matter what, of course. I will go with you. Is it? Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. My best friend, be nice to me in public, backstabbing in private. I've endured you for ten years. My stomach cancer is also related to you. This class reunion, I will definitely give you a... Big shock. I could take on two men alone at six. Ashley Peak, go to hell. Hey, bring me some food. Give me the money. Don't worry, we won't miss that little amount. It's you who stole Allie's earrings. Susan, if you like them, just let me know. I can gift you. You don't have to steal it. That's right. Yes. Did you start that rumors about I am being a mistress? Susan, we're just students. How could you do that? If you are having trouble, you can tell us. We'll help you. You isolated me and made me buy food for the whole dorm? Spread rumors about me stealing your earrings. Slander me and turn me into the joke of the school. Ashley, go to hell.
I'm out. I'm out. Nice to meet you. I'm Zoe Black. Susan Carter. Hello, my daughter-in-law. Only my daughter-in-law can beat me. What? Hey, son, where are you? I found you a wife. Come here quickly. Excuse me, ma'am. You are crazier than me. I've got to go. Hey, Susan, I've added you on WhatsApp. Feel free to contact me anytime. Hey, why did you just get here? Mom, don't talk nonsense. What wife? The girl just now. She's totally your type. Hey, if you can't find your lifesaver, just make do and be with that girl. No way. I must find her. Let go of that boy. It's been over 10 years. Just let it be. That girl is pretty nice, too. Mom, stop saying it. Those two villains took me deep into the mountains. I had no feed in three days. If they hadn't gone to get supplies and met her down the mountain, I would have died long ago, I have sworn. In this life, I'll marry no one but her. Why hasn't Susan arrived yet? She didn't dare to come again? Oh my, don't talk about her like that. She promised me she'd come. After all she's done to you, why do you still hang out with her? She had offended the whole class. If I stop hanging out with her, She'll have no one left. She's just too pitiful. Oh, girl, you're just too kind. Actually, she didn't do too much wrong. It's just that she stole my thesis, stole my earrings, and my money, too. And she lived promiscuously. But that's all in the past now. Hey, she's been feeling down lately. Talk carefully when she arrives, all right? Feeling down? What's wrong with her? Her boyfriend called off the engagement. Really? Why? You know, it's all because of her bad temper. I heard that she got dumped on their wedding day. How pitiful, huh? And she was... What? Just say it. Tell me. She... She got fired. That company? I told you not to refer her to the Black Group as the CEO's assistant. But no, you had to help her out. And now look, she's tarnished your reputation. People like her just lack integrity. You can't help someone like her. That's right. If she doesn't come today, it's fine. But if she does, she'll have it coming. I heard someone doesn't like me and wants to teach me a lesson. Susan, today's our class reunion, and you dressed like that? Is it appropriate? You can't stand it? If you can't stand it, just go die. Your face is all wrinkled. You think you're 18 years old? Did you get a problem? Go die, then? Stop being so self-righteous. Today is our class reunion. We don't welcome you at all. Get off before things get ugly. Well, I won't. Are you furious? Guys, stop talking about Susan. Even though Susan is almost 30, but everyone has the right to seek beauty. Isn't it? Susan, you, you dare to hit me. Of course I dare. Ten years and still not done. You gossip in front of our classmates and stir up trouble. You are so snide. Aren't you tired? I'm tired of it. You, and you guys, let me tell you. You all just take her side and judging me. Well, let me tell you, I didn't steal her stuff. I got my job on my own. Brain is a good thing to have. Too bad you don't. Who are you calling brainless? I'm talking about you guys. Do you dare to say we're brainless? I'm not just saying it. I'll hit you too. I'm not just saying it. I'll hit you too. Susan, you... You dare to hurt people. What are you doing? You even hurt a kid. Susan, you crazy woman. You dare to mess up this event. You can't just let it go. When will she come? Here I am.
You come alone, and my son. Susan, you've gotten pretty bold, even learned to call for backup. I'm curious to see just how capable these few of yours can be. We're capable or not, you'll find out soon enough. This spot here just happens to be my land. I'm planning on building a golf course here. You lot talking big on someone else's land, that's pretty gutsy. I'm dying of laughter. Your land, huh? A golf course? Oh my gosh. Susan, where did you find them? She is so funny. And you, ma'am, you talk big without a filter, huh? Aren't you afraid people will laugh their heads off? I know, right? Susan, what's your status? If you can get such a big shot to back you up, would you have been dumped? Were you driven mad by a big blow after you got dumped? From what I see, none of these people are quite right in the head. Listen, ma'am, you're not getting any younger old enough to be a grandma. Stop trying to act cute, okay? And you, dressing up in school clothes. Are you hoping people laugh at you? I know, right? And this guy. Hey, dude, you bring motorcycles here and start acting all street. You think you're a gangster, huh? I know, right? Hey, what's wrong with you? Looking down on people, huh? I knew there was nothing good before I came. I didn't expect it to be this bad. What? You bring these two lunatics over, don't you feel cursed? A nice reunion turned into something like a psych ward team building event. You are a bunch of crazies, really. Who are you calling crazies? Where did this fool come from? He really thinks he's a crusader. You're so righteous. Crusader? This guy's pretty stiff, huh? Crusader? Mr. Black, you've never been treated like this, huh? Do you start mocking me now? Who are you speaking so rudely to me? Who do you think you are? You spouted some tyrannical lines and thinking you're actually the boss? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh man, these CEOs nowadays, they're everywhere, right? It's true. What are you even saying? Heartless woman? We came here to back you up. Whose side are you on? Sorry, Mr. Black. I'll shut up. Susan, don't think we'd be scared of you just because you brought some people to bluff. Just you? And you. This outfit must have cost you half a year's salary. I'm telling you, no need to pretend to be rich. We know what she's like. Exactly. We've been friends for a long time. I know, you well, you know, high society folks. Well, then I know, the richest family in Greenland, the Blacks. Stop it, like we can rub elbows with the Black family. Susan, aren't you working at the Black? Yeah, have you seen Mr. Black? I heard Mr. Black is young but already at the top. He's super rich and really good looking. He's a luminary. She's just a worker. How could she meet the boss? You're giving her too much credit. Yeah, that's right. I've met Mr. Black, though. But you guys have, too, isn't it? Mr. Black? Susan, where did you find such a... Dedicated actor? You're just an average-looking, average background worker. And you think the CEO of the Black Group would back you up? Who would believe that? Have you read too many novels and always imagined yourself as the heroine of a romance drama? That's right. The Black family is prestigious. You think you're worthy? The gap between you and the Black is that you're not even worthy to carry Mr. Black's shoes? That's right. He would never go for you unless he's blind. You should have limited delusions. He's young and successful. He can get any kind of woman. Women lining up to get in his bed from January to December. With your status, are you worthy of him? That's right.
You. What are you doing? Attack out of nowhere. You're unreasonable. Enough. You guys keep fighting, huh? Susan, you poor thing. You act more excited, huh? Ashley, is this bag new? It looks expensive. Your husband bought it for you? Of course. Ashley is different from us. She married into a wealthy family. She buys luxury goods just like us. Buy groceries. Exactly. Among our classmates, Ashley has the best life. She has a good husband and enjoys life at home every day. Stop it. You'll hurt Susan's feelings. She just got dumped not long ago. She's the only one single among our classmates now. She's almost 30 and unmarried, almost becoming a spinster. Of course, my husband bought this for me as our marriage anniversary gift. This bag, worth you, a year of salary. So, it's really ridiculous that you pretend you're rich here. It was just a bag. Do you have to? Fuss about it. Susan. Your annual salary should be enough to buy it, right? Mr. Black, don't give me that high and mighty talk, you capitalist exploiter. I, Susan Carter, am telling you now. This bag... Really can't afford it? A regular worker can't afford it. That's normal. But try not to do things? That make people laugh at you. Some people, even if they wear nice clothes, are still poor. Girl, I don't mean anything bad, but your bag is a fake. This bag is limited to 300, and I happen to buy a few to switch around. Your bag's label is crooked, where you got scammed. You old hag, what nonsense are you spouting? This bag is just like this. You pretend to know everything. You're right. Yes. Look closely. This one is real. Expand your horizons. A real one can't be fake. A fake one also can't be real. I advise you, stop fooling yourself. I work at the counter. Ashley's bag might be fake. Well, Ashley must be scammed. It shouldn't be. How do you have this bag? There's a way to live in poverty and a way to live in wealth. You all despise the poor and favor the rich, and it's truly despicable. Such a narrow view. Listen to me, you just go home and sleep. There's everything in your dream. You old lady, who do you think you are? There's no need for you to know who I am, but I know that your designer clothes clearly doesn't fit you. It must be rented. And that necklace, it could float in a swimming pool. Your shoes are quite interesting. They are different types. It's fashion, huh? And you. Your suit. Look here. It even has loose threads. It's fake, isn't it? Don't talk nonsense. This is real. What's it called? And empty barrels make the most noise. Today, I've really seen the world. You despise the poor and love the rich back in school. How come you still act this way after entering the workforce? Zoe, you know what? Back in school, the teacher said their shoes were all Nike, but the paper was full of crosses. That's just hilarious. You came to the reunion with no good intentions. You came here just to make trouble. Let's kick her out. I came here because you begged me desperately. Do you think I wanted to be here? Since you start the game, I won't hold back. Hey, you. Be careful. Susan, you can't hit people like... I'll hit exactly who I want. Please let me go. Had enough. I give up. Ouch. Sorry, madam. I really know I was wrong. Please let me go. How come I don't see any sincerity? I'm truly sincere. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Susan, we were wrong. Please let us go. I shouldn't have pinned the blame on you. Susan, I have a family to care for. Please spare me once. I'm sorry, I really know I was wrong. It's real. We'll, we'll never, never dare do it again. again. How ridiculous. Such a bunch of jerks. I'll spare you this time, but if there's a next time... No, no more next time. Take it. 
Yeah, it's truly satisfying. However, why are you here? Say it. Do you really know each other? Son, say you don't know me. Why? Our relationships are shameful? Not really. You're the one who's shameful. This girl doesn't like you. Don't say you know me, or you'll regret it. Do I have any rights left? What do you think? You really know each other, huh? No. No. Then why did you say your son is here? Well, he said he'd come, but he couldn't make it. I don't even know this guy. Then why are you here? I... I was just passing by and saw my employee being harassed, so I stepped in to help. What's the matter? Is that strange? Enough. I don't care why you're here. I can't get along with you. Get lost. I don't want to see you again. You're unreasonable. Hearing this, you two know each other? Susan, what did this guy do to make you so mad? You know what? He did outrageous, inhumane, worst matters. Susan, I'm warning you. Stop tarnishing my reputation, okay? What have I ever done to make you despise me so? You have no right to speak. I'm telling you I've already resigned. Don't you dare act all high and mighty with me. You, you resigned? Did you get my approval? As far as I know, your resignation letter hasn't been signed by me yet. Nonsense. I'm telling you, I won't work under such a heartless capitalist like you anymore. So what? Heartless capitalist? I see. You're just the kind of boss who exploits employees for profit. I'm telling you, I, Zoe Black, hate people like you the most. You. Susan, Chris and I are moving into our marital home tomorrow. I'm sure you'd wish me well. You must come, my dear sister. As your sister, I must go to your housewarming party. Don't worry. I'll prepare a nice gift for you. Just wait and see. Susan, your sister is getting married? Of course. My half-sister is moving in with my ex-fiancé into the villa. My mother left me. I wonder why. Her voice is so annoying. Turns out she's not a good person. Susan, I'll go with you tomorrow to meet that despicable woman. Zoe, you do have a sense of humor. By the way, when will you be free? Come with me to the match. I believe with your skills, you can defeat all of them. No problem. Thank you for backing me up today. I'll definitely go. Oh, right. I almost forgot it. I'm attending a luxury product launch later. Come with me. I'll gift you everything you like. Consider it a token of our friendship. They can't say a word about you. Sure. Let's go. No problem. Their friendship really pops up out of nowhere, huh? It's my card. Mr. Black, we've got news about that person. Over a decade ago, right when you were kidnapped, a tourist happened to be taking photos there and just happened to capture a full body shot of your lifesaver. With that photo, we should get your lifesaver's information. Such a big deal. Why are you only mentioning it now? Is this information reliable? I just found out about this. You and Madam Black were dealing with things here. So I'm telling you now, it is absolutely true. I've already sent someone to buy that photo at a high price. We'll get the information soon. I can't wait. I need to go see for myself. Welcome. Ruby, look who's here. Wow, such a big villa. You really did it. Giving your daughter such a lavish wedding gift. Exactly. But Ruby and Chris are really a perfect match. They are. A true pair. If you ask me, I've never seen anyone who loves his daughter more than Mr. Carter. Otherwise, who else would spend so much to give such a big villa just to ensure his daughter's happiness? Ruby is the love of my life. I will always treat her well and never let her be harmed. Don't worry. I will always love her, protect her, and make her happy. Chris, you're so nice. Dad, Mom, I'll definitely be happy after marrying Chris. Don't worry. 
Well, as long as you two are good, I'm content. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of Ruby. Don't let her down. She is my only kid. If Ruby ever suffers from you, you know, I definitely won't let you off. Dad, don't worry. What about me? What am I then? It... is it Susan? Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. You're causing trouble for everyone. Susan, I know you're not content, but Ruby and Chris are a better match. It's just how it is. Exactly. Susan, just leave. Don't be so unreasonable. Isn't it just your fiancé being with your sister? I've been there. If you are not suitable anymore, why meddle in others' freedom to love? Isn't it? I've really never heard such a shameless word. Susan, you truly have a bunch of outrageous family members. Dad? Although my mother passed away, you can't act as if she never existed. If I'm not your kid, so all these years, who are you raising a daughter for? Could you have been cheated on? You. Such an ungrateful daughter. What nonsense are you spouting? What are you doing here? Who asked you to come? I knew it. You're deliberately trying to ruin your sister's housewarming party. Who asked me to come? Of course, it was my beloved sister. I know, right? You should ask your daughter the reason we're here. She knows it well. Dad, Mom, you've misunderstood Susan. It's me who invited her. I hope I can. Get her good wishes. Ruby, why did you invite her? She and Chris was almost married. After all, Susan is my sister. We had a misunderstanding before. I invited her to clear up our misunderstanding so that we can make peace. Ruby is kind and gentle. Her sister had, treat her like that, and Ruby still wants to, make peace with her. She's the only one, good enough for the walker. Exactly. Susan is just too jealous and vengeful, but Ruby is gentle and lovely. Even after all this chaos, she still thinks of her sister. Good kid. That must be tough on you. It's okay. No matter what, Susan is still my sister. Even if she hates me, deep down, I still hope for the best for her. This perspective, I really see who is superior. Susan got neither looks nor personality. No wonder Chris wouldn't marry her. Exactly. A good girl like Ruby. How could Susan compare? Hey, Susan, what are you doing with a broom? Susan, are you going to clean my villa with this broom? Sure, my dear sister. This is my housewarming gift for you. Sweeping you guys in grates out are the best gift I could prepare. Susan, what the hell are you doing? This is your sister's wedding room. How dare you to take us out? Are you crazy? Did you see your sister? Marrying with a big villa. So you're jealous, right? This villa is so luxury. I'm sure she'll be jealous. She is even green-eyed? Susan, the enough is enough. Susan, stop now. After all, Ruby is your sister. Isn't it just a villa? You're elder than her. Just yield to her. Susan, if you're angry with me because of this villa, I don't care. As long as you want, you can come and stay at my house for a few days anytime. Don't affect it our sisterhood by these unimportant things. Ruby, you are such a good girl who values relationships. She has done this to you. You still don't blame her yet. Unlike her, which full of scheming and just seek for money. Well, you're right. Susan... If you still complain about me because of this thing, wouldn't you ignore our relationships? What did you say? I said, I think you're right. Between our sisters, no need to worry about these things. If you like, you can enjoy staying here for a few days. What did you said? What do you mean? This villa was transferred to me after my mother passed away. Dad? You only have the right to use it, but the ownership belongs to me. What do you mean? What's going on here? Haven't you understood yet? The meaning is, this house belongs to Susan. 
You guys, get out of this house right now. Don't act in here. What's going on? You said it well before. This is the house for Ruby. Why is it turned into for Susan now? Explain it clearly to me. Otherwise, this won't be over. Dad, you promised this house would be my wedding house, but now you're telling me that it doesn't belong to me. What a shame. Susan, do you have to make a mess of your sister's housewarming ceremony so that you'll happy? I knew you come here with malicious intentions. Sister? What kind of sister is she? I come here just because of you. If it weren't for you to show yourself like this, how could you possibly made yourself so shameful like this? Susan, it's all because of you're so malicious. So that I break off our engagement. You bastard, you don't deserve to call my name. Ruby? Ruby, don't scare me. Ruby, hurry up and call a doctor. Even if this house belongs to Susan, but she is a little bit too aggressive, right? That's right. Ruby doesn't know the truth. You came over and disrupted her relocation ceremony. I think you did it on purpose. Ruby is not very healthy. Why do you bully her like this? You such a viper. Are you intentionally trying to kill her? Susan, you son of bitch. What are you going to do to let go of Ruby? She has been treating you very well and tolerating you all the time, but you have made her so shameful. Are you trying to kill her? Brilliant. It's really brilliant. Firstly, just now that bitch said she didn't care. Then she suddenly fainted. Secondly, Susan never touched her from beginning to end. She suddenly fainted. Well, do you still want to shift the blame onto Susan? That's all they can do. I think all of you just think Susan's mother pass away early, think she was lonely and helpless. So you wanted to take advantage of her. Now, you even make trouble willfully. Susan, I tell you. If there is anything happened with Ruby, I will definitely not let you go. She's pregnant. What did you say? How could this be possible? Are you deaf? The doctor said she is pregnant. For almost three months, her body is relatively weak, so it's not easy to see. In addition, she was quite emotional and anxious just now. That's why she fainted. But we don't be nervous. There is nothing wrong with her. It's been over three months now, but more than half a month ago, Chris and Susan were just broke off their engagement, which means that Ruby and Chris need to have sex before three months ago but three months ago three months ago chris and susan were getting engaged chris cheated on susan it's ruby she knew that he is susan's fiance but she still had sex with him ruby seems weak but i can't believe she's so dirty not only did she had sex with her brother-in-law but she also got pregnant unmarried chris please say something for me Susan, do you have to make me lose my reputation? Are you happy now? Do you have to destroy me if you don't get me? You son of bitch should be through into the harmful garbage bin. Get out of here. All of you get out of here. You. Get out of here. Hello, real estate want to sell my house the sooner the better could you please help me find a buyer susan are you going to sell this house why this is the only property my mother left me although i don't want to but there's something happened on me that i need money for therefore what happened i can help you mom i got the stomach cancer i'm gonna die in three months No one can help me. I'm fine. Since you have decided to sell this house, I will find a way to help you sell it at a high price. Is there a suitable buyer? Yes, of course there is. I happen to have a friend who wants to buy and he is willing to pay you first. Really? Just treat it like you have mortgaged this house. 
After you finishing your things, you can redeem it back. You also don't have to sell your mother's house anymore. About the price? I'm sure you'll satisfied with it. Thank you. Never mind. What about moving in with me during this time? Alas, you don't know how boring I am alone. So just be my companion. How's that? But will this be inconvenient? Of course not. How could it be inconvenient? If you come over, we can hang out together. Is that okay? All right. You have helped me so many times. I will definitely come. Good no girl. No need to say more. No need to say more. Bitch, I'm afraid of you now. Hello? Hello? Are you the person who took this photo? That's right. May I ask if there is any problem with it? This photo has took someone in who is very important to me. If you are willing to sell me it, I'd like to offer you this. $70? $700? $7,000? Madam, if you are willing to sell me the photo, I can offer you $70,000. If you give it to me right now, $70,000 can be immediately transferred to your card. What do you think? If you're willing, please take it out. What's wrong with this picture? Which makes it worth $70,000. That's right. I'll never forget her in my whole life. It's she. She? This photo happened to took her in. She is my lifesaver, and I swear I'll finally marry her in my whole lifetime. Your lifesaver? This photo was taken by Mr. Carter. Unexpectedly, Susan was took in it. Is it true that Susan is the lifesaver? This one wants to find? You're the... I am the president of the Black Group, Ted Black. The richest family of Ching City, the Black Group. My identity is not important. The most important thing is whether you can arrange me to meet the girl in this photo. Well, if you can arrange me to meet her, you can fill in it as you like. Susan, what kind of luck did she have to catch such a good husband? No way. I can't let Susan get all of this. Otherwise, she'll get all the benefits easily. I need to have a long-term perspective. Mary Carter, this is the richest man in Greenland. Who cares about this money? So, for all these years you've been looking for, your lifesaver? That's right. I haven't seen her since. She saved me when I was a child. I once sent someone back to find her, but got nothing. She seemed disappeared from the earth. I couldn't find any messages about her. After such a long time, she may look a little bit different from what she looks in the photo. Do you mind that? Of course not. I have been searching her for so many years, just relying on an unclear portrait and found nothing all the time. Now I finally have a new clue. How can I care about her appearance? I must catch this incredible wealth. Based on your description, I already know who you are looking for. Who is she? It's my daughter, Ruby Carter. Wow, Zoe, this is too luxurious. It's such a magnificent and beautiful house. No matter how big the house is, I'm still sleeping alone from dark to dawn. Susan, don't mention how lonely I am before you come here. Zoe, don't say that. I feel ashamed to enter your house. Thank you for letting me in. It's you. Do me a big favor. You don't even know what kind of difficult life I've been living alone. I feel very lonely. Wow, Zoe. You are really a rich woman. Susan, from now on, you will be my best friend. We can live together now and hang out together every day. I wish we could.
You bastard. Sorry. Sorry. Let go of that boy. Little kid. Don't worry about me. Run. Shut up. Release me. Go inside. What's the matter with your thighs? Answer me. What's the matter with your thigh injury? Answer me. What's the matter with your thigh injury? You bastard. Don't you dare to look at my thighs. Ouch. Susan, please answer my question first. What's the matter with your thigh injury? You still say that. I'll kill you. How could I go out if others know you see my thighs? I tell you, I didn't hurt my thighs. Remember that. I don't believe you. Let me see again. How dare you? I'm not looking anymore. Please let me go. How could my lifesaver be Susan? She is totally a tigress. My childhood goddess could never have been a tigress. I'm going to see her tomorrow. I shouldn't think too much about it. Are you really not looking anymore? I won't look anymore. I swear. Then tell me why you appeared at Zoe's home. I... What's the weather like today? The sun is quite thin and white. You broke into my house and watched me take a shower. I'm gonna call 911. See you at the police station. No, 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 let me explain. Miss Carter, I went the wrong way and come into the door. I'm so sorry. What? Spying on me in the shower, explain? You have no explanation. No, I... I... All right, give me a reasonable explanation. Tell me, please. It's a long story. Don't get excited, okay? Mr. Black, although we are subordinates, but I've already resigned. First, this is Zoe's family. You illegally broke into a house, so it is a fact. Second, didn't you hear me singing when you came in? Are you intentional? I... See you at the police station? Hey, misunderstanding. Susan, it's a misunderstanding. Zoe, you too? Yeah, I'll tell you everything. Ted is my son. So? So this is his house? Susan, don't be angry. You two have lied to me and played around with me. Zoe, you know, I hate Ted. Why? Are we good friends? Don't be angry. Otherwise, you'll be the CEO, replace him later, and have Ted work for you. That's okay? Well, okay. Susan comes back now. Susan? We all thought that. You were driven crazy by our boss and resigned. Ah, uh, Susan, when will it end? Mr. Black is the most disliked boss. I've never met anyone else who likes him. Right. He is so difficult to serve, but he is still a nice man outside, as he is rich and handsome. However, the result is clear now. I used to have a filter on him as a CEO. But now he can only move himself and looks like a jerk. He could do nothing but exploit his employees. Right. right. What has happened? Why do you look so bad? Susan. Do you know Mr. Black is right behind of you? The words we just said must have been heard. We're going to suffer. Ted, why are you walking so slowly? Well, on my first day on the job today, could you replace me to pour a cup of water for them? Replace me to pour a glass of water for them. Susan, are you crazy? How dare you? Oh my god. Drive another one crazy. What are you waiting for? Go ahead. What's wrong with you? My god. Am I dreaming? He really poured water for us. Susan, do you have any nandal on Mr. Black? Mr. Black is so obedient to you. By the way, Susan... Didn't you say that Mr. Black is in the Ha Have you cured him? Miss Carter, here's your water. A very good. 
and then mop up all these places. After that, order a cup of coffee for everyone. Susan, what's the matter? Why does he call you Miss Carter? This is so weird. Am I crazy? Or is this world crazy? Well, Now, everything has changed. I'm the CEO of the Black Group. I also want you to feel what is exploited by unscrupulous boss. Move your foot, please. Here, clean up. Here, please. Back then, the one who saved you on the street is my daughter, Ruby. How about you these years? I... I have been looking for you. Mr. Black, these years Ruby hasn't had a good time. Why is her life so hard? Just take it easy and tell me. What's wrong with Ruby? Since childhood Ruby is gentle and kind and never liked to argue with others. So she always gets bullied by others? Gentle and kind? Why is it different from what I remember? Maybe she's not the little girl now? When I was married to her father, he brought a daughter of his deceased wife. She always looks down on us, contradicting me, and always picking on Ruby. Mom? I can't believe this. Exactly. She is a naturally bad child, and Ruby was bullied by her when she was a child. Even now that she's grown up, she's taken away. Ruby's fiancé got involved with her brother-in-law. Mom, stop it. A shameless woman indeed. Don't worry, Auntie. These years I've been looking for the person who saved me. Now that I have found her, I will definitely do anything I can to make Ruby to be the happiest woman in the world. Look at your office in here. I always meet her. You know? So amazing. Mr. Black, oh no, Ted. I can't believe he brings a woman. Oh my God. So exciting about recent events. First, Mr. Black exchanged identities with Susan. Now it's Mr. Black, who hasn't bloomed for many years. Allows the woman to get close. Mr. Black is probably to clarify that he isn't impotent. So he brought her on purpose. Guys, let me introduce you. She will be my wife later, Ruby Carter. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you and my sister. We meet again now. I'm sorry, I'll go to the restroom. Seeing someone, I want to vomit. You. Susan, you wouldn't believe that. Everything has changed. Go ahead. I will be the fiance of the chairman of the black group. You're still an assistant. I'm so sorry for you, such a pathetic bastard. What are you doing now? Your mouth smells so bad that I can help you wash it up. Ruby, didn't you go to the bathroom? How come now you're like you've gone swimming? Yeah, Ruby. Why are you in such a mess? I don't know why. Susan has such hostility towards me. I just wanted to say hello to her, but she was like a madwoman pushing my head into the sink. She was trying to kill me. Susan, is that really what happened? So what if it is? Susan, usually you're not like this. Why would you bully a weak girl like Ruby? Weak-minded girl. She fits the description perfectly. She's not only weak-minded, but she has a filthy mouth. It's normal to help her wash up. Susan... What did I do wrong? Why would you want to kill me? Just because you're jealous that I'm living better than you? Susan, how narrow-minded you are. I heard you and Ruby are sisters. Why would you harm your own sister? Susan, I never noticed how vicious you were before. You would even harm your own sister. Do you have a heart? I've seen Ruby get bullied by her a lot before. I was blind before. I actually made friends with someone like her. I'm jealous of you? You're adding drama to this. Let me tell you, 
Even if I were jealous of a dog, I wouldn't be jealous of you, Ruby. Ted. Ted! Ruby, what's wrong with you? Your hair is so wet. Ted, I don't know what I did, offended Susan. She pushed my head in the sink and tried to drown me. Susan, what are you trying to do? If you have something against me, just take it out on me. Why are you taking it out on Ruby? Ah, you're so indiscriminate. You believed her side of the story without even asking me the actual victim? You're so quick to blame me for trying to drown her? Fine. You tell me. Is what Ruby just said true? Yes, it's true. I pushed her into the sink. You... You're so arrogant. What do you want? It's fine if you bully Ruby normally, but today you wanted to kill her? I don't understand. What are you trying to achieve? Maybe it's because Susan has always been very competitive. Today, seeing that I'm marrying, I'm marrying, the CEO of Chen's group. While she's still a regular assistant, she felt unbalanced and resentful towards me. Ruby. Actually, I... Ted, you don't have to say anything. I won't blame Susan. After all, she... Ruby. You must have misunderstood. I'm the CEO of Chen's group now. And Ted Black is my assistant. And Ted is my assistant. What are you saying? What? You were so happy earlier. Why can't you smile now? Ted, what does she mean? Literally, Susan is now the CEO of Black's group. I'm just a regular employee. Ridiculous. How could that be? Susan can't be the CEO of Black's group. Even if you are the CEO. So what? You did this. Shouldn't you apologize to Ruby? I need you apologize to Ruby by bowing. You, you're just like her now. No more objections, right? You're a violent person. You're being unreasonable. Well, I'll be it to the end. You need to stop this. What are you saying? I can't hear you. Left hook. Great hit. Susan, hit well. Zoe? Zoe! Susan hit well. I'll give you a good lesson. This little brat, let him know how blind he really is. Mom, what are you doing here? Why am I here? To give you a good lesson. And this woman. It's you. You're the woman who was brought to the villa by Susan. How could you be Ted's mother? So what if I am? You have no right to question me? Madam, I didn't know it was you. Ted and I hadn't met yet back then. So... We have misunderstandings that day. Now Ted and I have met. We're getting married soon. Then we'll be a family. Family? You, trying to enter our black family? Even if you saved my son before, that was then, this is now. Aren't you just the kind of can be bought off with money? This card has $300,000 on it. Leave my son. Madam, I'm not that kind of woman who desires wealth. I don't love money. Ted and I... Love each other sincerely. Oh, I can't image. You are such an actress, and even a good actress. Mom? Ah, don't call me mom. I don't have a daughter like you. Listen, as long as I, Zoe Black, am alive, Susan will be my daughter. I, I don't... What about you? Stop talking to me like that. You're just a gold-digging woman. I've seen plenty of your kind. Really disgusting, acting in front of me. Ah. Mom, don't say such harsh words. Ruby has always been kind. She's not the kind of gold-digging woman you described? Yes, I admit that. She was a good child back then. But people change. Just like my good son. He was so smart and cunning. But now, how did he become so blind? Being led around by a gold-digging woman. It really annoys me. Susan, let's go. Yeah. Mom. Susan, why can you step on me like this? Why can you get the favor of Mrs. Black? What's the reason for this? Susan, I will make you pay. I want you dead. Ruby, are you okay? Here is the tissue. Wipe the water off your face first. Thank you. Ruby, aren't you sisters? What kind of conflict do you have that it's escalated to this point? It's okay for Susan to hate me. Because Ted loves me. Susan is jealous and wants to interfere between us. What? 
I didn't want to make this go public, but Susan wants to ruin me. I have to tell the truth and get justice for myself. Wait, is there another side to the story? Ruby, don't be afraid. Tell us everything you know. We can help you and we'll clear your name? Absolutely. Although Susan is our colleague. But we won't favor her. If she did something wrong to you, speak up. We'll all support you. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Here goes. Although Susan and I are sisters, but she's always liked to take what I like. As a child, it was toys. Now, it's the man I love. What? what? That's, That's terrible. terrible. Ted and I have a deep connection since before, and we're deeply in love. But Susan, jealous, interfered in our relationship. She charmed Ted's mother, manipulating her to separate us so she could take his place. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I never knew Susan was like this. I've worked with Susan for so long, but I never thought she'd be like this. Yes, Mr. Black just introduced Ruby to the company and declared her as his future wife. Just now, Mr. Black clearly favored Ruby, but Mrs. Black interfered. It's worse to destroy someone's marriage. What Swan did was unethical. Even if she likes Mr. Black, she shouldn't resort to such means. Why is the atmosphere so bad today? We've been working for so long, it's the first time I've realized. You're not what I thought you were. Not so innocent. When you bullied Ruby in the bathroom, using your power to intimidate her, did you ever think you would be a day like this? You vicious woman. That's why Mr. Black prefers Ruby over you. You were jealous of Ruby for gaining Mr. Black's affection. So you broke up this couple. You don't understand that. Forced relationships never work. Did Ruby tell you all this? So what if she did? Your misdeeds are undeniable. Are you afraid of people talking? Ruby is gentle and kind-hearted. She even refuses to blame you. But fairness is subjective. What you've done... We'll remember it for Ruby. Working with you for so long, I thought you were an honest and straightforward girl. But you're so domineering. You've been too much. No matter what Ruby told you, if you're swayed by her one-sided narrative, then I'll have to speak the truth. This afternoon, I'll hold a rumor clarification meeting. You all must be there. Welcome everyone to listen to me. Now I will clarify my slander and rumors. Feel free to ask me any questions. Why did you suddenly become the CEO of the Black Group? That's my personal matter, but don't worry. I'm only temporarily holding the position of CEO for a few days. It doesn't mean the Black Group has changed ownership. I heard you like Mr. Black and went to great lengths to separate him from your sister to insert yourself. That's unnecessary. I don't like Ted. What he likes has nothing to do with me. Then why is Mrs. Black so opposed to Ruby and Mr. Black? You must have meddled with it. Susan is my good friend and close confidant. I dislike anyone she dislikes. What's the problem with that? Moreover, Ruby is such a bitch. I couldn't care less about her. That makes sense. So Susan is a friend of Mr. Black's mother. That's why she always backs Susan. If that's the case, then Ruby is lying. She wants us to be her pawns. Bad woman, didn't you find a better option? A catch like Mr. Black, the Golden Bachelor. What brings you back to me now? We may have been married once, though I'm by Mr. Black's side. I still love you. Do you really think I'm naive? It seems Mrs. Black doesn't approve of you. No hope for marrying into the wealth family. Seeing my success now. So, you want to revisit Old Flames? Chris, don't you know me? I love you sincerely. If not, why would I have risked everything to be with you, even when you were with Susan? Don't you trust me? Sincerity. How much is sincerity worth? I've a massive funding by chance. Not on the level of Ted, the prodigy, but I'm a big shot now. Do you think I'd settle for worn out goods like you? Don't you dream of crushing Ted beneath your feet? Don't you want to greater heights? I can help you. Help? With what? Do you have money? 
No matter what, I'm Ted's savior, someone he trusts unconditionally. If you want the black group, we can partner up. What are you doing here? I'm the one who invited you. Shouldn't the one involved be here too? You... It was you who invited me. You tricked me. You used Zoe's name to lure me out. What do you want? Relax. I won't do anything to you. Just stay here with me for a while. Hey, Susan. Aren't you curious at all how I soared to success and became the vice president of the Sung Group? It's nothing but dirty tricks and deceit. What else do you know besides that? You're just a waste of space. Skilled at nothing but having fun. The process doesn't matter. What's important is the money ended up in my pocket. Isn't the result what counts? Susan, whether you're a waste or not, we'll just have to wait and see. What's this? Ted? Susan colluded with her ex, Chris. I saw them plotting yesterday. Susan betrayed our company. What should we do? She wouldn't do that. It's impossible. I don't want to suspect her either, but the evidence is clear. I need to ask her myself. Susan, how could you do something like this? What other tricks are you up to? I know you hate me, but you can't betray the company to win back your ex. If you keep acting crazy here, I'll have security throw you out. Get out. With this evidence, what can you deny? Isn't that you in the photo? Susan, I know you and Chris are close. You must have patched things up. But no matter how close, you can't betray the company. You've made up? Why? Even if you have, what does it have to do with you? Besides, I'm not the type to lack professionalism or ethics. You know better than me how this photo came to be. Stop stirring up trouble here. Behave yourself. I'm warning you. I won't tolerate your antics. How dare you hit me? Ruby. Where's the wound on your thigh? Scar? What scar? The one on your thigh you got, saving me years ago. Why isn't it there now? Maybe it healed. After so many years... When those people threw you to the ground, a sharp rock cut your thigh. How could such a deep wound not leave a scar? Uh, I had a scar removal surgery. So, then tell me. Why is this scar on Susan's thigh? It... You lied to me. You and your mother lied to me. What? What are you talking about? Don't you remember me? We've met before. You saved my life back then. Uh, me? Saved you? Me? Saved you? There's such a connection between us. Then... How did you get that scar? Oh, when I was young, I got separated from my family. I saw a boy tied up by two burly men. His eyes seemed to be pleading for help. I acted impulsively. Could that boy have been you? It was me. I've been always looking for you, but you'd be right by my side. Without you back then, I might not be here now. It's okay. Let's talk about the company first. After breaking off with Chris, we rarely interacted. This must be someone's plot to... Frame me. How could it be, Susan? Who would want to frame you? Ruby, do you still need to pretend? You know exactly what you did, don't you? What are you talking about? Chris and you work together, 
deliberately using Zoe's name to lure me to the cafe and then hiding in the shadows to take pictures of Chris and me. Then using that photo to accuse me of betraying. Isn't that it? What proof do you have that I framed you? Proof? You think you're the only one with photos? What did you say? You knew about this all along? You played along just to lure me in? I don't know anything. I'm clueless. Then why did you just... I was just talking nonsense. You admitted it yourself? You tricked me. Mr. Black, you heard what she said. Someone else betrayed the company. Now there's no need to favor her. I won't favor her anymore. You're the one I'm favor. I invited a wolf this time. The blame is on me. Don't worry. I'll handle this properly. As for framing you, impersonating you, Ruby, I'll sue her as soon as possible and make her apologize publicly to clear your name and compensate you for your losses. What? Sue me? Yes, I do. Thank you for letting me make amends. I will work hard. I didn't expect you to be that little boy. You've changed a lot. Hello, Zoe. I want to tell you something. Can you bring me with you when you hang out? Susan, why can you get everything I want? Why are you so lucky? I must make you pay the price. For you are Ted's savior. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, Susan, this is a top online luxury auction within our circle. See if there is anything you like. <laughs> No, I won't take them. They are too expensive. These are all jewels. They are useless to me. Why should you pay such a high price to buy them? You don't understand. This is a way of investment. I buy these luxuries with a high price. When they go up in price, I will sell them. So I can make profits from this. Which one will rise in price and most likely make me money? Here, look. Like this one. Its price can be multiplied times. Do you want it? Well, forget it. Even if I spend all of my money, I can't afford to buy them. You can use my bank card. You can use my bank card. Mr. Black, are you crazy? Well, you never bought me anything so expensive. Good to see you. In this auction, if there is anything you like, I will buy it for you, okay? There's no need for that. Why should I use your money? Just think of it as a loan, okay? Please.
I do need some money. I think of a way. When I sell these at a high price, I will return the money. Since you beg me to borrow money from you, then I shouldn't reject you to embarrass you. Okay. Then it's a deal. Okay. You buy the jewelry for Susan. Okay. Mr. Black. Thank you. I I will return the money. You're so desperate for money. Did you encounter any problems? It's not a big deal. It's my private matter. I can't tell you. I will die soon. How can I tell you about this? Since you can't tell me, then I won't ask you any more. If you need any help, feel free to let me know. Mr. Black, this is what you want. Here you are. If you don't need any other help, I will leave first. Let's go. Look at you. You mean Ted has been following you in secret recently? Not really. He has been doing it undisguisedly. Do you want to order? What do you want to drink? Why don't you work in the company but act like a waiter here? Life is difficult. So I have to do this. Our company has been losing money, so I have to do a part-time job to support my family. Don't talk nonsense. Tell me what you want to do. Well, you still don't understand. Susan, I will go to the bathroom. You two should have a chat. Are you available tonight? What do you want to do? Ah. Uh, you asked me to help you sell that jewelry. I found an appropriate buyer. Really? How much the buyer offered? Half a million dollars? Do you mean two hundred thousand dollars? Five million dollars? Ah! I made ten times more. Is the buyer insane? He is not insane. Well, it's because this jewelry is good, and he wanted it badly, so he bought it at a high price. Why did he want it so badly? He wanted to give someone a gift. What do you, do you want, want to eat, to eat for, lunch? for lunch? It's so strange. What happened? Why would Mr. Black come? Who can make Mr. Black be here so many times in a day? Why? I found that Mr. Black has been like this for these days. He's been very unhappy these days. Did he break up with Ruby? So he comes to our department to attract her attention. Yes, that's the only possibility. Come out with me. I have something to tell you. Okay. Let's go. Is there anything wrong? Well, did you receive the payment? Yes, thanks for your help. Otherwise, I have a gift for you. It's so beautiful. You are that buyer? Why would you do that? I just wanted to do it. Well, go back to work.
tell me. What do you want me to do? Chris, give me some money. Give you money? Ruby, are you insane? Why should I give you money? Didn't you find a rich man and are ready to marry him? What are you doing now? Can't you just give me some money? Then I'll help you to get the black group. I got a chance. I've already joined the black group. Are you still afraid that you can't get what you want? Okay. How much do you want? Two million dollars. Then I will help you. Get the latest information. Two million dollars? Ruby, don't go too far. Do you think it's so easy for me to make money? Then you have to decide which one is more important. Is two million dollars more important than the information? Tomorrow our product launch will be held. We must be careful today. Don't make any mistake. For this project, our company had prepared for a long time. Any small mistake may ruin all. We must focus on and try our best. Okay. Once this product appears in the market, it will bring a heavy blow to others. They cannot compete with us. This launch is highly anticipated. We must try our best to finish our job. Fighting. Something is wrong. It's about the Sung Group. Today, they launched a similar product to our company's. Once this product is sold in the market, then no matter what we do, it will be too late. How could this be? At this critical moment, why would happen like this? According to the current condition, we can do nothing. Just check the news. The company running not long ago, but has already famous. There is news about them everywhere. It's impossible. How could be such a coincidence? We just published the time of our launch tomorrow. We all signed agreements. How could this company launch the product before us? How could there be a coincidence? The most unlikely thing happened. Then there is only one possibility left. Someone betrayed our company. Calm down. Just finish your job first. For the rest, I will deal with them. This happened too suddenly. Everyone is at a loss. The company is in a mess. If this matter can't be handled, our company will face two outcomes. One is bearing the loss. We put all of our money and effort, but all in vain. Another possibility is that our reputation will be ruined. This will make our company less popular. I think this is strange too. What's wrong? Someone wants to defeat us. The only possibility is the Sun Group cannot compare with the Black Group at all. Why did they target us? The company Chris just registered. was the Sun Group. If someone wants to betray us, then the only possibility is... Well, Ruby, well done. The Black Group has been focusing on this project for years, but I did it before them, so they suffered a heavy blow. It's a nice start. Annexing the Black Group is just a matter of time. When we succeed, I want this amount of money. Mr. Black, what do you think about this? The Sun Group wanted to cooperate with us before, but their projects were too immature. So we didn't cooperate with them. Then what's going on? How could a company that is so incapable make a product that is comparable with the one we've been working on for years? Something is wrong. The people connected to the president of the Sun Group are Susan and Ruby. Mr. Black, where are you going? I've got some ideas on this matter. Stand by at the office. I was right. Ruby and Chris have been kept in touch in secret, and most probably Ruby was the one who sold the information about our launch to Chris. Unfortunately, the evidence I have now is not enough to let them fail completely. It hurts. Why? After my rebirth, I did. Something to change the future. Is that why something else also have changed? Is that why my condition get worse so quickly?
Why would this happen suddenly? Have you been too tired of work these days? Ah, uh, sir. How is she? When will she wake up? Do you know this patient? Are you her husband or are you her relative? I'm currently not her husband yet. Okay. Then could you please call her family here? According to her current condition, I have to discuss this with her family. Hello? The number you're calling cannot be connected at the moment. No one answered the phone. Sir, you can just talk to me about the situation. I can make the decision. If money is needed, I can pay the bill now. Her condition is so bad, but her family is not here. They are so irresponsible. Okay, I will discuss it with you first. Well, the cost of follow-up treatment will be very high. Because she has terminal stomach cancer. What did you say? Don't get too emotional. Her illness was discovered too late. Her current condition is very bad. To be honest, even if you're willing to spend a lot of money on treatment, I am afraid that there is still no chance for her to recover. She is so young. How could this happen to her? I just found her. I haven't made it up to her. But you're telling me that I will lose her soon. How can I accept this? Pull yourself together. Now, no one has the right to decide for the patient whether the treatment should continue. Let's wait until she wakes up. Doctor, how long can she live? Calm down first. Her condition is not good. She can live for at most a month. Moreover, the cost of follow-up treatment is very high and will bring huge pain to the patient. She knew about this long ago. No wonder she needed money. No wonder she sold her house. No wonder she quit her job. She had known about this long ago. She went through this alone? How scared she was. How helpless she was. I even mistook her. And I argued with her all the time. Ted, you asshole. Calm down. Ted. Ted. She wakes up, so I will leave to prepare for the procedures of the surgery. You're awake. Don't feel bad for me. I know I am dying. I can also accept this result. No. That doctor just said that as long as you're treated here after a period, you will be discharged. Ah, or maybe he had misdiagnosed it. Or maybe you have been too tired of work these days. Just rest here for a period. Then you will get better. Don't give up, okay? Don't give up. Don't give up, okay? Don't be sad. I had stomach cancer long ago. I have been undergoing treatment. But fate cannot be changed by mortals. You have to cheer up. Our company needs you. If you act like this, the company will be defeated. Can you bear to see this happen? I don't care about the company. I just found you. And I haven't married you. You must cheer up. Don't be self-willed. I followed Ruby secretly just now. I had recorded... The evidence of her and Chris. I, I will send the evidence to you. Then, you have to handle everything. Susan. Doctor. She fainted. Doctor. What's going on? How is the patient? 
She just fainted. Please check on her. What's wrong? Her current condition is very dangerous. By the way, the result of her examination has come out, I think. It's strange. What do you mean? She knew that. She had stomach cancer. In the meantime, she has been undergoing treatment. I've checked her clinical history. She was getting better before. Theoretically, even in the worst situation, her illness should have been contained. But this time, her condition worsened suddenly. So it is strange. Do you mean something happened that caused her condition to worsen? Was that because of me? I was too hard on her? I didn't know her health condition? It was not because of this. I think the most likely reason is she had taken the wrong medicine and this made her condition worse. Theoretically, she knows her body very well. She won't take the wrong medicine to hurt herself, right? Do you mean someone wants to hurt her? Kill her? Well, I'm not sure about that. I am just skeptical. Hello. Stop. Everything you're doing now. Get all the experts here. Let them be here today. I will do whatever it takes to keep Susan alive. Don't be afraid. I won't leave. I will stay with you. Ted, what are you doing? Why are you acting like this? Susan. Susan, what? Look at you. You make me so annoyed. Cheer up. The company needs you. Susan also needs you. Do you think you don't have to hold the responsibility just by being a coward? Let me tell you, this is your responsibility. If you're a real man, pull yourself together. Mom. Someone betrayed our company. If we can't get through this, from now on, the black group will start to lose its power. Are you going to do nothing? Susan was hurt like this. We don't know if she can survive. Are you also going to ignore her? Didn't you swear long ago that you'd find and protect her? Is that all bullshit? I understand now. I will find the one who hurt Susan and betrayed our company. I will let anyone who hurt Susan pay the price. This time, it's my turn to protect her. Go ahead. I've already helped you to deal with part of the things that happened in the company. As for what happened to Susan, I've started to investigate it. I will go abroad tomorrow. I will invite the professional team to treat Susan. As long as there is hope, we can't give up. Send a car to pick me up. I will be back to the company. Mr. Black, why are you back? If I don't come back, aren't you going to succeed? Mr. Black, what do you mean? I don't understand. Stop acting. I've called the police. You're suspected now. Chris had already been arrested and was under investigation. You don't have to explain to me. Just talk to the police. Because you're Susan's sister. So I had been indulging you. But you're so ungrateful. You hurt the black group. And you also hurt Susan? You're so ungrateful. Police? You can't arrest me? I am Susan's sister. We are a family. A family? Is that the excuse why? You kept framing Susan? Are you really her family? Catch her. Catch her! What do you want to do? Do you want to detain me by force? Well, tell me what is this? The policeman searched your house and found this. Why would you? Have this medicine in your house? I know this medicine. This is an unlicensed cancer drug. 
and years ago, it had been proved that this cannot save someone's life, and will worsen one's condition. It's indeed, toxic. Theoretically, this should have been destroyed. Why is it here? This, this is a misunderstanding. Susan is in the hospital, but it has nothing to do with me. I don't think I ever told you that. Susan is in the hospital now. It's so strange. How do you know that? Why? Because of you. Susan is now lying in the hospital, being unconscious. You will be arrested with voluntary manslaughter. I will let you bear all the results. Yes. It was me who hurt that bitch. So what? As long as she appears in my life, she will, my things difficult for me. Why does she get everything I want without doing anything? What's so good about her? I hate her. I wish I could eat her flesh and drink her blood. I wish she could go to hell. Let go of me. Good news, Susan has a chance to survive. Cheer up. Do you mean Susan won't die? She could be healed. I am confident. I heard of a cured case overseas, so I rushed over there. I can't believe I found that medical team. There is hope for Susan. Please calm down. We will check the record first. As long as you can cure Susan, I will do anything. Okay. We've checked her medical history. We can treat her, but you have to decide for her? This is undoubtedly a, a heavy psychological burden. What? We can treat this stomach cancer, but conservative treatment is no more than extending her life. With conservative treatment, the patient can live for two years. What about the other solution? Is there any other solution? Yes, but this solution is risky. The other solution is having surgery. If the surgery is successful, she will be cured. But the surgery is risky. The estimate of success rate is 20%. If the surgery fails, she will die in the operating room. No. I can't decide for her. If you want to have surgery, we should perform it for her soon. The longer it takes, the worse the patient will get, the worse it is for the surgery. Please decide as soon as possible. I decided to have surgery. Susan. Ted, I want to survive. As long as there is still hope, I don't want to give up. And I want to tell you something. Congratulations, the surgery is successful. After a period, the patient can be discharged. Do you know that? When I was young, that man left my and my mom. My mom raised me by herself. It was very difficult for her, so I swore when I was young that I must be strong, be a good father, and be a good husband. Hey, then? Why are you so annoying? You're awake. I want to tell you something. Just say it. I'm listening. Are you so worried about me? I... I just want you to be fine. I know. I also want to be fine with you. <laughs>